Hey everybody, Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. About a month ago, I started my weight loss journey with a promise of radical accountability. So here I am a month later, doing exactly that. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the products that I've used over the last month and how well they've worked. I'm gonna talk about the results. We're gonna get good news, and unfortunately, we're also gonna get some bad news. So let's start with the good stuff. I'm gonna step over here. Putting up the big sheet, you can see that I've managed to not only lose almost nine pounds, I've even put on some muscle in most areas. So pretty significant progress. For the days that I'm not working out, for the days that I'm not doing cardio, I'm grabbing those Flybird weights and I'm making use of them. I'm doing exactly what I said I would do in that character sheet. I'm following those to the letter as much as I can. Not every day is perfect. I didn't expect it would be. So I'm doing the best that I can with what I've got. Sometimes my muscles are not cooperating because they're already too fatigued or I've just got so much joint pain that it's just not working. So I'm managing to work around three to four days a week. So those are pretty significant results for three to four days a week and I'm pretty happy with the results. So I wanna talk a little about the products that we've used to get there and how well they've been working. The Flybird dumbbells are absolutely godsend for what I'm trying to do. The biggest problem that I have when I'm trying to work out alone is switching between different exercises. When you do different exercises, there's a very good opportunity for you to slow down, lose your cardio, lose that heart rate, because you're switching weights. If you're talking about free weights, then you, know, you either have to have this massive rack of weights or you're busy fiddling with clips and throwing new weights on. Those Flybird weights, it's a simple click and I'm grabbing a new weight in an instant. Those are fantastic. The uh, bench that goes with it, obviously that's a must have. You can't do a lot of these exercises simply laying on the floor. So they're a matched pair and I cannot recommend them enough. I also wanted to talk about this, the TNT Pro Series stuff. So this uh, TNT Fire Starter, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I didn't open it up last time. This is basically like a weight belt type thing and it goes around you, around your waist. And the idea is, this one's clean right now, but you put this uh, coconut oil basically on your body and it helps with your, I don't know if it's metabolism or what, but it seems to amp up your, uh, your body's reaction to heat. So you, you put this stuff on your midsection and you wrap that around you and then you go work out. Now what I'm seeing, I didn't want to shame the other people that I'm working out with, but when I do 50 minutes of workout, when I do like a, a kickboxing class or a, a boxing class, I'll get around 900 calories of workout and everybody else in the class that has a monitor is getting around five to 600. Now, is that scientific? Hell no, it's absolutely not scientific, but it's consistent, I can tell you that. It looks like I'm working my tail off, and I am, but I'm consistently getting significantly more calorie loss than they are. So, like I said, it's not scientific, but it works. So, this gets a pass from me. I'm absolutely gonna continue using it, and I need to pick up another one of these, because you know, you're washing it every two days, that's, that's a lot, it's a lot of wear and tear. So, um, the good news is that I looked this up, uh, they were nice enough to send this to me sight unseen. I asked what kind of products they might have, and they sent me this, so I hadn't done any research prior. Now that I have, if you go to their website, you can get this belt for free, and then they obviously wanna sell you this. So, um, I'm not the type to pitch stuff that I've not tried, I don't believe in that, but I do believe in this. It actually does seem to work. I can't explain how, and I'm not even gonna try. So uh, it's working for me. I encourage you to give it a shot. I mean, what, what can you lose? Maybe some pounds. So now let's get to the good news and the bad news. So the good news is obviously I'm making progress on my weight loss. I am a week late on putting up this video, but I did take my measurements at the appropriate time. The bad news is that I also got some really, really bad news on my injuries. So when I was in the military, I got hit by an explosive and I got thrown through what's called a GP medium hardback tent, which is basically a uh, plywood construction tent with a canvas on top. And when I landed, I don't remember anything. Uh, I was knocked unconscious, but from what I was told, I basically ragdolled. And from what the doctor was able to figure out, I had landed on my leg in some awkward way and it smashed my hip into the ground. Now I have lived with that since the 90s and it's been okay. When it rains, it sucks, but it's been okay. I've been able to get through it. But over the last two years, I've been losing strength and I've been losing uh, flexibility on that side, which uh, I can do the splits cold. I, I've been flexible my whole life, hyper flexible even. 
uh, to the point that it's now got a medical diagnosis. But uh, unfortunately, that started going away on that one side. So I went to a doctor and we've spent the last year going through various tests and different diagnoses and MRIs and CTs and physical therapy and rehab. And what it's come down to, I have stage four arthritis with a labral tear. I had to think about it for a second there. So the labral tear is almost all the way through basically the, the uh, kind of connective tissue that goes over the ball joint of the, uh, of the uh, socket for my hip. And I'm gonna put up an image. I'm so sorry if it's gross, but uh, it's just gonna be an x-ray, no meat, promise. But basically it's this, you've got this kind of sliding motion and then there's supposed to be like a bow you know, you're supposed to have kind of a, a contour to your hip joint and then the ball. Mine has ground itself flat and there's spurs all throughout that are grinding into that labral uh, tissue and it's basically shredded it. And uh, to the point where it's almost completely separated. So I'm going in in the middle of this month, uh, the middle of June, to get that fixed. I would get it done immediately. The doctor was ready to schedule me that week once he actually saw the, uh, the RF arthrogram to show him all this mess. Um, he was ready to schedule me like immediately, but I'm going to uh, an event uh, later on for, for Gaming Trends, so I, I wanna make sure that I can cover that. I'll tough it out for another couple of weeks, and I'm going in the middle of this, uh, this month. They're gonna go in and they're gonna repair, if possible, that uh, labral tissue and they're going to grind out that kind of saddle sort of uh, profile to my hip. They're gonna grind down all of that, uh, those spurs, which I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you, it's disgusting, but basically if I, if I were to kind of do like this with my hip, it makes a grinding and popping sound. So uh, the doctor even winced when I stood up and did it. So that's not a great thing to see from your doctor. So he's gonna go in and he's gonna repair all of that. If I were to simply have my hip replaced, I would be up and walking within 24 hours. This level of surgery is gonna have me on crutches for between six and 12 weeks. So I have no idea what that's gonna to do to my weight loss journey, but I can tell you, boxing is out and kickboxing is way the hell out. So I'm not sure what my cardio game is gonna look like. Uh, I'm still gonna be able to do weight lifting, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to push on that a little harder maybe raise my heart rate and maintain at least some level of the progress that I've made, but it's gonna make this series difficult. Uh, but you know what? Radical accountability, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I will see you in a month. Uh, it'll be a little bit longer than a month because I've gotta wait till after surgery to even bother doing an update. But uh, I will do that update and I will continue this series no matter what. Radical accountability, pluses or minuses, does not matter. So. Please continue to join me. I will continue to update you. I've been Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Stay strong out there. For those of you who commented that you're making your weight loss journey, thank you so much for your support. And I support you as well. Please keep us updated on how your progress is going because your progress is just as important as mine. Thanks everybody. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you again very soon.